approach that is such an important uh, question, maybe it can also inspire others. Please raise your hand because I think there is space for some more speakers to take the floor. Ah, I think I have also the request from the International Federation of Library Associates, and that is seat 1209. Seat 1209. Have the floor. Hello, uh, my name is Jesse Henshaw. Um, I'm in the delegation of the uh, uh, International Federation of Library Associations and uh, would first like to uh, pitch libraries. There's been very little talk of libraries anywhere in the SDG process. I've been involved in these meetings for several years. Uh, libraries are the heart of uh, cultural and societal self-education and for um, sustainability it's going to be crucial to have traveling librarians to go to meetings of groups all over the place to learn about how to do things and to share their methods. Anyway, the question I have has to do with the, the uh, uh, unusual economic principle of decoupling. It was sort of a sort of spread by a whisper campaign. It was never debated or, or uh, uh, studied really, um, but, but promoted by the OECD and, um, and, and uh, yeah, UNEP. But decoupling, been, decoupling what? Decoupling of the economy from its impacts. And so this is a principle that was built into the foundation of the SDGs, that we could have limitless growth because the faster you grew, the less impact you would have. And um, that, of course, stands against every common sense principle, but it was so attractive that the, the social networks of the SDGs um, accepted it. And so, but now we find that um, what the past 50 years of tremendous scientific, technological, and efficiency gains have been devoted to is not reducing our impacts. It's been increasing our production. And so we, we had a mixed up principle there. And so my question is, uh, if this central pillar of the SDGs is no longer uh, stable, uh, is, is rapidly crumbling perhaps, um, what other pillar might we use for the SDGs? I would uh, approach uh, it saying that we could go, go back to natural growth, which is to have, a, a, after a period of exponential growth, have a period of consolidation and refinement uh, in, in, a, in maturing and stabilize an economy at uh, a thriving level uh, somewhat less than infinity. Okay, thank you very much for your contribution.